Greetings folks, Teddy Feinberg, Brooks Stockburger, Teddy and Brooks Show, local Las Cruces sports at your fingertips. Let's get the ball rolling. UTEP at NMSU this Saturday, 6 p.m., critical football game. Talk about it. Yes, Aggies have to win. Definitely have to win. They're coming off such a huge win down the road at a Big Ten team. Nobody saw it coming. Literally nobody saw it coming. No. And they've got such momentum. Big hated rivalry just coming up the road 50 miles on the interstate. If the Aggies lay an egg and lose, ugh, all that momentum's gone again. The next home game will be a sparse crowd. Got to beat the, gotta beat the Miners. Couldn't agree any more with your analysis. I think this is a critical game for both football teams. UTEP needs to win. They're 1-1. One one. You lose this football game. you got South Florida next week. Houston the next one. They're staring at a 1-4 start. Let's look at the Aggies now. Momentum's high. People are excited about college oh, football in Las Cruces. I know the sky's caving in. You win this game, you're two and one. You go up on your rivals. You got San Jose State next week. You start conference. You got UNM the following week, an egregiously bad U UNM team. And then you come back home for Idaho. We don't want to put the cart before the horse, but the Aggies could actually have a winning record going into the second half of the season. Could we see a 4-2, and 5-1 start? That would be awesome. It's a critical football game for both teams. For the Aggies, it's about establishing momentum and building respect. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? It was just great to see them win last week. Big Ten win on the road. You just want that to carry over. Because like you said, if they, if they lose to UTEP, it'll really, yeah. that's the old pin in the balloon. And if the Aggies can just run enough to keep UTEP honest. UTEP's given up more than 200 yards on offense. I mean, on passing, but both teams are passing well, well over 300 yards passing. Uh, but the Miners have a, a, a their backup quarterback in. Couple keys going into the football game. Aggies play the same as they did last week, i.e., a complete game, all four quarters. Their chances of winning are legitimate, and it starts up front. Aggie offensive line pushes the U, the UTEP defensive line. Aggies run the football. That translates into a play-action passing game and a downfield passing game. So, like Brooks said, they run the ball. They stop the run, and they run the ball on offense. I think they win the football game. They're favored by three points. Aggies are favored. I know. I know. This is incredible. Let's move on to prep football. <laughs> Oniate goes to Cleveland last week. The game is called at halftime. I hate to harp on the negative, but I, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, that's got to be so emotionally draining to go into the locker rooms and then, oh, the game's over because you're down by, you know, 50 points or whatever. Um, you know, Coach Caleb's got a big job ahead of him his first year, and to keep these kids' heads up is going to be hard. Uh, but they still have, you know, league play to come up, and that's something you can really look forward to. Their home Saturday afternoon against Rio Rancho, uh, and Mayfield's on the road at El Dorado. Mayfield's 1-2. and two. They haven't really been able to stop the pass. Their defense is a concern. I couldn't imagine the Trojans being 1-3, and three, but... I've been wrong before. Cruz is high at home against Hobbs. Cruz just tries to find a passing game. They still have some weapons on offense. Should be a fun weekend. Folks, check us out on Sports Facebook. If you do, Brooke, tickets, please. You can yes. win free tickets to Aggie Miners. Should be a lot of fun. Can't imagine anyone not wanting to be a part That's of that right. sellout crowd. Get your tickets. You can also check us out on Twitter, lcsun-news.com, all day, every day for online updates and more. Don't forget. Have a great one.